Welcome, dear viewer, to this show on Hollis Creek, Western Australia. Hulls Creek is located 350 kilometers south of Kununurra. It's the center of the largest shire in Western Australia and the fourth most rapidly growing one. Hulls Creek's got a population of 1,300 people with an average age of 27 years. The shire website provides information on Hulls Creek. We approach the town on the Great Northern Highway, known as National One. Highway was only completed by the end of the 1980s, although the first road was constructed in the late 1950s. A DVD about the Kimberley service by National One and some fascinating reference books. The Great Northern Highway has no fences, and cattle are always a danger. Let's look at some of the surrounding scenery. Old Halls Creek is perhaps a 15 kilometer drive down the Duncan Road from Halls Creek. A picture of the old Halls Creek back in the 1950s prior to its closing. In those days it was very isolated. Picture of the male surfers. Aboriginal convicts at the police station in Old Halls Creek. Aboriginal trackers were used by the police to chase down culprits. There are still signs of the early beginnings of Hollis Creek. A gold discovery marked the beginning. Old gold mining equipment still exists. And in fact, gold mining has only recently terminated. An old stamp. An early photograph at the closing of Halls Creek. Not much left of the old Halls Creek. A few old mud bricks to remind us of the population of 3,000 people that were there when Charlie Hall found gold in 1885. The gold rush only lasted three months. Then everyone went off to Coogardie in Kalgoorlie where the big gold discoveries were being made. The graveyards of no great historical importance. Here's the grave of the only white woman to be buried there. It's also the grave of uh, James Darcy, who hit the pages of the West Australian in 1917, the height of the Great War. Darcy was badly injured and transported to Halls Creek. There, F.W. Tuckett, the postmaster, performed first aid using a telegraph to communicate 2,000 miles to Perth, um, obtaining instructions by Morse code, performed the operation with a pen knife. Unfortunately, Darcy died. The entrance to the old Halls Creek. The old uh, Halls Creek Lodge and Caravan Park is being offered for sale. Some of the remains today. Life in Halls Creek today 
largely a community of Indigenous Australians supported by government services. A view around the town. Hose Creek Aquatic and Recreation Centre. Looking at the Great Northern Highway through the town. The town hospital. Government workers housing, I think. Looking down the main street. Hose Creek is an important stopover point for road trains and tourists. One of the uh, grocery stores. The Hose Creek Decker store does a very impressive trade. Most of the uh, policing problems the senior police sergeant David Hornsby says are caused by alcohol. There's been serious social and criminal problems caused by a shortage of housing. Six men were charged there for offenses against young girls. Sex attacks in Halls Creek has led to conflict between the federal and state governments. Welfare payments have been kept from parents who didn't send their children to school. We were next to the Kimberley Hotel, a lovely hotel with a great pub serving ginger beer. The pub at the back. Wall hanging indicated that horseback racing is of central importance to Hall's Creek. Hall's Creek was the terminus of the Canning Stock Group. Some of the colorful trees of Hall's Creek. Aren't these tremendous? We had the choice of two caravan parks, the one at the old Hall's Creek and Hall's Creek Caravan Park. Picture of the Hall Street Caravan Park from a Google satellite photo. It's totally barren at this time of year, as is apparent in this photograph of the Caravan Park. The main building does have an excellent store. We set up camp in the sand in 40 degree weather. I read about Russ and Jack. Russ and Jack was quite a character who saved a partner by carrying him in a wheelbarrow. He's been immortalized in 15 kilometers from the old Halls Creek and the old Duncan Road is what's known as the China Wall. It actually does look like the Great Wall of China. It's actually a totally natural limestone formation. It's picturesque at sunset with the cover. Wolf Creek is an Australian horror movie. It was based around visitors to the Wolf Creek crater who were kidnapped and murdered in the film. The Wolf Creek crater is genuine and is accessed on the Tanami Road, 106 kilometers south, the town of Halls Creek. It's the center of the Wolf Creek Meteorite Crater National Park. Its location is shown on this map. The Tanami Road runs through the Tanami Desert to the Granite's Gold Mine and on to uh, Alice Springs. Let's take a look at photographs of the Wolf Creek Crater. A 1950s historical photograph. The walking trail to the crater. An aerial shot of the crater. There are some nice pools, uh, such as the Caroline Pool and Palm Spring, located near Halls Creek.
Thanks for joining me on this quick visit to Halls Creek in Western Australia. Have a good day.